Hello friends, I am Neeraj. Welcome to Grow Your Skill. From today, we are going to start a new series about JWT authentication in Golang. And uh, the way I have planned to work on this series is that uh, I am going to work it in a, as a separate independent project and not uh, uh, tightly coupled with the, our Go Fiber application. A reason behind uh, my this thinking is that uh, however we could have uh, implemented this uh, auth mechanism JWT authentication directly in our fiber application but that would be tightly coupled and not uh, the user module would behave at a, as a separate standalone uh, project okay so that way there is one more uh, reason behind that is, uh, is that uh, we can use our uh, go mod uh, go authentication project uh, for in our uh, other applications as well so that that could be that could be reused uh, by many applications i mean it's the same auth can be consumed by many other applications okay and uh, the second thing is that uh, like uh, we have already worked a lot on the fi on uh, using fiber while working our go our blog application for this uh, jwt authentication i am going to use gengonic that is a very popular and very widely used uh, gen uh, 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 go framework out there this is just this is similar to fiber uh, but uh, with uh, uh, quite older than fiber fiber is a new one and uh, gen is quite older and uh, very mature enough and uh, the reason about this pick is that uh, like we already know already worked a lot with fiber so that uh, so that uh, likewise we can also learn a lot using uh, working with gin as well and that could be so we can have a better learning and in go we can uh, we can see that we can, we can work pretty well using fiber and gin as well so that would be our uh, again uh, next uh, uh, one more armor in our archery right something like that so let's dive into our uh, terminal and uh, this is our project structure so we will create one more directory so we will say go gen and let's say auth and we will cd, in, CD into it so go gen auth and we will just uh, initiate create a module so go mod in it and we will name it github.com neeraj bg is my github id and we will say gin auth or let's say to differentiate it go gin auth hit enter and uh, we will open our vs code so our mod file has been created and like uh, before using uh, Gengonix, so we will need to first install it. So just uh, search for this uh, Gengonix and we will land on this uh, on their website. So we'll go to the documentation and uh, simply we have to simply just uh, copy this and we will paste it in the terminal we will hit enter so it will install all the dependencies and uh, let us we will cre need to create uh, the server the server file so we can name it anything just like main.go or server.go so just main.go and uh, it would be a part of package main and obviously so we will need to import something so first of all so i use log package a lot and we will also need to install gin gonic and gin and we will initiate our the main function we will create a new variable and that would be so we want our application uh, this is auth application to run on port 8001 and not port 8000 because our fiber application is running on port 8000 so we will need uh, this uh, uh, gin application as well running 
while we 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 connect our fiber application with our this uh, uh, JWT auth project okay and uh, we will also need to set the mode also so let's say we will say gen dot release mode so there are lots of modes so you can check out the documentation and uh, we will create a just like in uh, fiber so we created a variable app so we can also name it app or router anything and we will just need to instantiate it so it will create a new instance of of, of uh, gen and that would be assigned in the router variable router and uh, now onwards so we are going to use this uh, router variable uh, uh, elsewhere okay so and now so we have to run our application so first of all so we'll wrap that inside our uh, log.fatal if the application is not running and uh, we will say router dot run and we have to simply assign the port so we'll save it and uh, even uh, uh, even with this one if we try to run our application so hopefully there should not be any error so yes it is running but uh, this is uh, uh, but this is not accessible on the web because we haven't created any specific routes so let us create some routes and uh, route uh, route is basically a handler so however we will set up routes uh, later on but right now that's it the basic route so we will say get and we will need to specify the where uh, the route the, the pattern so the we wanted to listen on the with the if any if user types in anything of our, of our domain so we are simply going to do that and next it takes a handler function and inside this handler function so we can simply uh, here also so we are passing the context object uh, this is a pointer the, this variable ctx is a pointer to the, the gen dot context object so that we can access the context very easily so we can name it anything ctx or just anything so let's say it is so and now so we will say dot json and inside this json so we are uh, we have we can pass the proper status codes so let's say we will pass it 200 and uh, uh, and this and this time we have to pass a, a map object so gen also provides a very handy and uh, that is gen.h so it will create a hash ma hash map for us by default so we can pass it let, let's say we are going to pass a message and the message would be let's say first one hello world okay so let's save it and uh, if we run it and if we try to access our route localhost port 8001 so we are uh, getting this message hello world okay so that way so this is the one thing and uh, uh, one more thing uh, we will do uh, in this session that uh, in fiber also like uh, we have uh, hard coded our port variable port but the idea that uh, we are going to in this application also we are going to use database and uh, it is always a best practice to use the database credentials and, and other sensitive information in the environment where environment variable so we will again use the same uh, joho package to access the uh, variables from the environment so let's do that and so that our basic application would be structured so we will need to import github.com joho go dot env is the name of the package and also we will use the init function 
or init function triggers before the main function okay so here uh, we will check we will collect uh, actually we are going to uh, load the our environment variable go dot env dot it is having a load method it will load the environment variable environment file and we will check if error is not nil then we will very simply say log dot print ln and uh, error in loading env file okay so there it is so no required module provides package why it is so let us try it to with go mod id okay so go mod id okay so now it is working so actually uh, since this package was not uh, uh, installed in my machine so that is in this project actually in this module so that is why we needed to run the go the go mod id actually go mod id whatever dependency is written in our mod file so it will search in the just like github repositories so it will search in the at this location it will install it so we will run it so this time it is running so we are getting this error so that is pretty well because we haven't created our environment file so we will create one and first variable we are going to have is let's say port 8001 and since we have done this so there is no point uh, uh, accessing uh, i mean having this variable port as the static hard coded so rather we will access it from the environment so again uh, accessing is also very simple so we will access we will use the os package and we need to provide the name of the key okay and uh, one more thing additionally so before uh, proceeding so we will again uh, check if the port is uh, empty or not i mean if, uh, if the port is defined or not so we will other if the port is not defined uh, then we will uh, uh, use the default default port okay so that so like like that so here we are uh, very simply say if port is uh, here we are we are saying if port is empty then we are going to we are going to init to assign port 8001 okay so let's save it and let's try to run it so it is working fine and in order to test it whether this is working fine working uh, or not so let us change the port and uh, we will need to rerun so 8001 is not working so there is no response here but if we change the port so we are getting the message so that's all for this session so we have uh, set up our uh, base structure whatever uh, we will need but uh, still so there are uh, uh, lots of uh, stuff need to do uh, like uh, we have to create models and we have to connect our application with our uh, mysql database and uh, we are also need we also need to set up our routes and other stuff so we will do gradually step by step that would be if we uh, move uh, uh, in a better way and gradual so that way so we will have a better and firm understanding hopefully that will help okay so the if you have anything to say so please do let me know in the comment section and uh, i'll see you in some other session so till then take care and happy coding